Jens Gerard Lehmann is a German former football goalkeeper. He was voted UEFA Club Goalkeeper of the Year for the 1996 a Euro 97 and 2005 a Euro 06 seasons, and he has been selected for three World Cup squads. He was a member of Arsenal's Invincibles, playing every match of their famous unbeaten title winning season. He also holds the UEFA Champions League record for the most consecutive clean sheets, having not conceded a goal in ten matches whilst at Arsenal. Club career, FC Schalke 04, Lehman started his career in 1988 with Schalke 04, playing for them for nearly a decade. His first years were rocky, notably a game against Bayer Leverkusen in 1993 in which he conceded three goals and was substituted after 45 minutes causing him to flee the stadium alone by tram rather than taking the team bus, but Lehman gradually established himself as a strong keeper lauded for his ability to intercept crosses. He scored his first league goal on March 12, 1995 in a 6-Euro 2 victory over 1860 Munich in the 84th minute, scoring Schalke's sixth goal from the penalty spot. His second goal was a last-minute equaliser scored against Borussia Dortmund on December 19, 1997. Lehman became Schalke's team hero in their 1997 UEFA Cup final victory over Internazionale, after playing a strong season and saving an Ivan Enze Morano penalty in a penalty shootout. AC Milan, he left Schalke for AC Milan in 1998, however his performances didn't match the standards set at Milan. In one game Gabriel Batistuta scored a hat-trick against him including a goal from a free kick in the box which Lehman had conceded by handling a back pass. In another game he was substituted after giving away a penalty. Lehman was dropped after just five matches and believing he wouldn't get another chance at Milan he left during the winter. Borussia Dortmund, in early 1999, Lehman returned to Germany to play for Borussia Dortmund replacing longtime goalkeeper Stefan Klose. Lehmann had a difficult start with the team with several poor performances and a lack in his discipline and reliability. Rumors of an early parting of Lehmann arose, who was viewed critically by both supporters and critics. However, Borussia Dortmund began the 2001 Euro 02 season strongly. Lehmann's overall performance improved and he became more reliable for the team. He contributed significantly to the team's return to success winning the Bundesliga in 2001 a Euro 02 and reaching the UEFA Cup final that same year which the team lost in a match against Dutch club Feyenoord Rotterdam. Lehmann was a key player in a solid performance by Borussia Dortmund, winning the German league in an impressive finish, eventually triumphing over Bayer 04 Leverkusen which led the league by five points with only three matches left in the season a Euro beating one. FC Car Paragraph LN Hamburger SV and Werder Bremen back-to-back, -back, Lehmann and Borussia Dortmund won the Bundesliga in 2002. During the same season Lehmann became known for his poor disciplinary record. In a match against SC Freiburg, Lehmann kicked opposing attacker Sumela Koulibaly after they collided in the penalty area. Lehmann was suspended afterwards and currently still holds the record for most red cards for any player of Borussia Dortmund as well as for any goalkeeper in the German Bundesliga. After a weak season in 2003, which saw Borussia Dortmund slip into mediocrity, increasingly unreliable performances by Lehmann led to his departure from the team. He was replaced by Roman Weidenfeller and Guillaume Wimus, who had just left Arsenal. Arsenal 2003 Euro 04 season, Lehman joined Arsenal on July 25, 2003 as a replacement for David Seaman, and played every match as Arsenal went unbeaten for the entire 2003 Euro 04 FA Premier League season, becoming the first English club to accomplish this feat since Preston North End in the 1888 Euro 89 season. However, Lehman's style of play, often coming out of his goal to intercept passes occasionally led to mistakes such as in the title-winning match at local rivals Tottenham Hotspur when Lehman pushed Tottenham striker Robbie Keane as the pair waited for a Tottenham corner, and made a mistake that led to the equalising goal in Arsenal's Champions League defeat at home to Chelsea the same season. Arsenal continued unbeaten until October 24, 2004. At the end of his first season at Arsenal, he had already played 54 times earning himself a Premier League winner's medal at the end of the season. 
2004 Euro 05 season. By the middle of the 2004 Euro 05 season, Lehman did not play well, and was no longer automatic first choice, with Spaniard Manuel Armunia starting in several matches instead. However, Armunia made a series of mistakes himself, thus allowing Lehman to regain his position. At the end of that season, as speculation again began to mount that he would be replaced over the summer, Lehman cemented his position in the Arsenal goal with a man of the match performance against Manchester United in the 2005 FA Cup final. He made several important saves and demonstrated great positional sense to keep the score 0 a Euro 0 after extra time, and then a crucially saved Paul Scholes shot in the penalty shootout, which Arsenal won 5 a Euro 4. 2005 a Euro 06 season, Lehman had an outstanding 2005 a Euro 06 season with Arsenal, making his 100th Premier League appearance for the club in their game against West Bromwich Albion on April 15, 2006. He was a key factor in his side's first ever accession to the Champions League final. During their run Arsenal broke the record for the most consecutive clean sheets in the Champions League with 10, breaking the record of 7 that Milan had set just one year before. That run formed the bulk of an 853-minute spell without conceding a goal, overtaking the CL record for an individual goalkeeper set by Edwin van der Sar. Bayern Munich's Hassan Salih at a three-quarters year had been the last to net against Lehmann, in the 64th minute of a last 16 first leg match on March 22, 2005. Lehmann kept a clean sheet in the second leg, and then a further seven during Arsenal's run in 2005 a Euro 06. The final clean sheet was earned in the semi-finals against Villarreal, after Lehmann saved an 89th minute Juan Roma Enrique penalty. Lehman maintained his shutout run despite an ignominious end to his 2006 UEFA Champions League final against FC Barcelona. With the score still at 0 a Euro 0 he was sent off in the 18th minute for a professional foul after bringing down Samuel Eto'o, making him the first player and only goalkeeper to ever be sent off in a Champions League European Cup final, but it did not stop him from being named the Champions League Goalkeeper of the Year for the 2005 Euro 06 season after going 853 minutes without conceding a goal. 2006 Euro 07 season, his remarkable run was finally ended on September 13, 2006 by Hamburger SV's Bauba Karsnigo, who scored a consolation goal in the 89th minute of Arsenal's first group stage match of the 2006 Euro 07 Champions League season. Lehman's contract at Arsenal was due to expire in summer 2007 and during the 2006 Euro 07 season there was much speculation he would leave the club on a Bosman transfer. However, it was reported on April 26, 2007 that he had signed a year's extension on his contract, tying him to the club until 2008. 2007 Euro 08 season, in the first league game of the 2007 Euro 08 season, Lehman made a serious error after just 52 seconds, allowing David Healy to score for Fulham. However, Lehman's blushes were spared late in the game as Arsenal won 2 a Euro 1. In his second league match against Blackburn Rovers he fumbled a David Dunn shot to allow Blackburn to equalise, in a game that finished 1 a Euro 1. On August 24, the BBC reported that he returned to Germany to treat an Achilles tendon injury which he picked up during international duty against England, meaning Manuel Armunia took his place for Arsenal's third match. Lehman subsequently had to wait nearly four months to make another competitive appearance for Arsenal, which came in their final Champions League group match against Stoa Bucharest. Nearly one month later, he played only his fifth competitive game of the season for Arsenal, against Burnley in the third round of the FA Cup. Meanwhile third-choice goalkeeper Angstrom Erkaz Fabius Ski was selected for the League Cup games. Lehman expressed frustration at being number two to Manuel Armunia fearing it could cost him the number one jersey in the German national team for the European Championship 2008. However, Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger described Lehman's attitude as a Euro a super professional a Euro. On January 26, 2008, Lehman appeared in Arsenal's second FA Cup game of the season, keeping his second successive clean sheet as Arsenal beat Newcastle United 3 a Euro 0. Manager Arsene Wenger later promised Lehman that, if he stayed at Arsenal, 
he would play every game in the FA Cup. On January 29, 2008, Lehman suggested that he will stick with Arsenal until his contract expires at the end of the season. Lehman gave his reasons as his relationship with the fans, players, family situations and his chance to still be able to win things at the club. Believing he would be Euro unregistered trademark T have had this chance somewhere else. On February 2, 2008, following an injury to Armenia, Lehman returned in goal for Arsenal in the Premiership for an away fixture against Manchester City, more than five months after his last league appearance. Arsenal won the match 3 Euro 1. Due to Armenia catching flu straight after the injury, Lehman kept his place in goal for the following three matches in February including the first leg of the UEFA Champions League round of 16 against AC Milan, but also the 4 Euro 0 loss to arch-rivals Manchester United in the FA Cup. After another injury to Armunia in early April 2008, Lehman was back in goal for the away game against Manchester United on April 13, 2008. Arsenal lost that game to a Euro 1, virtually ending their Premier League title hopes for the season their third consecutive season without a major trophy. There was speculation that would be his last game for Arsenal, but on April 19 Lehman played in the home game against Reading, which Arsenal won to a Euro 0. The following week, Angstra Merkau's Fabiuski was given his Premier League debut against Derby County and Armenia returned to the bench for the game. However, Lehman made another appearance and was brought on for Fabia Ski in the last 20 minutes of the game against Everton on May 4, 2008, Arsenal's final home game of the season. He was given a standing ovation after the match as he bowed and clapped to the fans. Later that day, Wenger confirmed that it was Lehman's farewell appearance. VfB Stuttgart, in early June 2008, it was announced that Lehman had signed a one year contract for VfB Stuttgart. He joined the team's pre-season training on July 24, 2008, and made his debut for the club on July 30, 2008 in a friendly match against former team Arsenal. His competitive debut for the club came on August 10, 2008 in the first round of the DFB Pokal, a 5 Euro 0 away victory over FC Hansa Lohan Kortenberg, and his Bundesliga debut one week later in Stuttgart's 3 Euro 1 away victory at Borussia Mar Paragraf and Chengladbach. Batch. On April 3, 2009 Lehmann extended his contract at VfB Stuttgart until the summer of 2010 and announced in August 2009 that he would retire on June 30, 2010. Return to Arsenal, 2010 Euro 11 season, on March 14, 2011, German tabloid Bile reported that Lehmann was in talks to come out of retirement, due to an injury crisis at Arsenal leaving them with only one fit senior keeper, Manuel Armunia. Lehman was also scheduled to spend six weeks working on his coaching badges at his old club. Due to the injury of Arsenal goalkeepers Wojcic Scha and registered trademark Snai, Angstra Merkaus Fabius Ski and Vita Manwan, on March 17, 2011 Lehman signed for Arsenal on a rolling contract until the end of the season. Lehman was a substitute in Arsenal's match against West Bromwich Albion on March 19, 2011, but despite newspaper reports that he might replace goalkeeper Manuel Armunia, due to the latter's poor performances, Arsene Wenger admitted that Lehman is not match fit. Lehman made his first appearance in Arsenal's reserves on March 29, 2011 against Wigan as Arsenal lost to a Euro 1. On April 10, 2011, Lehman started for the first team in an away game against Blackpool. He was forced to start the game when Armunia was injured in the warm-up. This was his 200th appearance for Arsenal as they won 3 Euro 1. Lehman became the oldest player to play for Arsenal in the Premier League but not the oldest to play for the Gunners in all competitions, a record held by Jock Rutherford. Lehman's contract with Arsenal expired at the end of the season, and then he decided to retire once again. International career Lehman made his debut for the national team against Oman in February 1998 and has since earned 61 caps for his country, most of which were friendlies. He had a well-publicized rivalry with former Bayern Munich goalkeeper Oliver Kahn whose presence long prevented Lehman from becoming the number one goalkeeper of the German national team. He was in the squad for the 2002 World Cup which finished as runners-up, 
but he didn't play any single match in the competition as Kahn was still at best performances in club and as number one of the German national team. On April 7, 2006, however, German national coach Jar one quarter G.E.N. Klinsmann announced that Lehmann would be Germany's first choice goalkeeper for the upcoming World Cup. Lehmann conceded two goals in Germany's opening match of the World Cup, both scored by Costa Rica's Paulo Wanchope, although Germany won the match for a Euro 2. Lehmann played strongly in the next three games, conceding no goals and allowing Germany to sweep their group undefeated and beat Sweden convincingly in the round of 16. The highlight of Lehmann's international career came in the quarter-final match against Argentina. The game remained tied 1-1 a Euro 1 after 90 minutes and extra time. The game came down to penalty kicks and Lehmann carried his team through, picking the right direction for all spot kicks making saves from Argentinians Roberto Ayala and Esteban Cambiasso and almost saving a third. Meanwhile, the Germans made all four of the necessary spot kicks to win the penalty shootout for a Euro 2. Lehmann's prowess in the shootout was aided by notes given to him before the kicks a Euro an idea from Germany's chief scout, Swiss-born Ersigen Thaler a Euro with Lehmann keeping the paper in his right sock. Before the last shot from Cambiasso, Lehmann looked at the paper for a long time even though Cambiasso's name was not even on it. The story around the paper features in the film Deutschland. Ian Sommer currency RCHEN. Lehmann was considered a hero by the German public after these saves, and he received praise even from longtime rival and backup keeper Oliver Kahn. Germany's opponent in the semi finals was Italy. The Italians had the better chances to score but Lehmann made several spectacular saves, including one in extra time where he dived out of goal to intercept an Italian player who had broken loose from the defence, punching the ball clear with his fist and temporarily knocking out the Italian in the process. He allowed two goals within a minute of each other with only a few seconds remaining in overtime, which put Italy into the World Cup final. The retiring Oliver Kahn was given the honor of starting in the third-place playoff match, an offer made by Lehman himself. Kahn was made captain for that game due to the injury to Michael Balak. Germany defeated Portugal 3 a Euro 1 for the third-place medals. In August 2006, Lehman revealed that during the World Cup he was suffering with a foot injury that he claims was a result of wearing different boots. The German Football Association ordered their players to wear only those manufactured by principal sponsor Adidas as opposed to Lehmann's sponsor Nike. This has now been overturned thanks to Lehmann and several other players protesting about the decision and the players are now free to wear boots made by other companies. In August 2006, Lehmann suggested that he may retire from league and international football after playing for Germany in Euro 2008. However, he subsequently stated in January 2007 that he had not made any decision on retirement. Lehmann set a national team record of not conceding a goal for 681 minutes in a friendly against Switzerland on March 26, 2008. In Euro 2008, Lehmann started every match as Germany reached the final. They lost 1 a Euro 0 to Spain. A lack of communication between Lehmann and Philip Lahm allowed Spain's Fernando Torres to net the only goal in the match. On August 8, 2008, Lehmann announced his retirement from international football. He made his decision following a two-hour talk with the German national team's coach Joachim La Paragraph W and goalkeeping coach Andreas Carr Paragraph PKE, stating that he was not able to give them any guarantee that he will continue to play football following the end of his one-year contract with VfB Stuttgart in June 2009. He has since retired and subsequently worked towards his full FIFA coaching license at Arsenal. Personal life, Jens Lehmann and his elder brother grew up in Essen. After graduating from high school with A-levels in 1988, he studied economics at the University of Mar one quarter NSTE between 1992 and 1998 while continuing his football career. In 1999, he married Connie, an elementary school teacher. Lehmann later adopted Connie's son with football and nut Reinhardt, Lass. The pair also have two children Mats and Lisa Lotter. Charity, he is board member of the youth football foundation Stiftung Jujan Fuerable, founded 2000 upon the initiative of Jar One Quarter G.E.N. Klinsmann. 
Lehman also acts as ambassador of the Foundation Power Child Campus South Africa that supports children affected by HIV and well as foundations of Bert Trautmann, Christoph Mitzilder and former Arsenal goalkeeper Bob Wilson. He participated in the Soccer Aid football match on June 6, 2010 for the rest of the world team in aid of UNICEF. Acting career, Lehman made his film acting debut with a German South African production Femba. He plays Big John Jacobs, a football coach and talent scout, who discovers Themba, a young and ambitious youth, who is faced with poverty, AIDS and violence, but eventually makes his way onto the South African national team. The movie is based on a novel by Lutz van Dijk and premiered at the Berlin Ale 2010. Honours, Club Statistics National Team Statistics References External links Last Minute Equaliser against Dortmund, Jens Lehmann Career Stats at Soxabase, Profile at Sporting-Heroes.net, Jens Lehmann at Fussballdutender, Jens Lehmann at the Internet Movie Database.